I just want to do a video on the um, Lime Fuel battery charger. Uh, I had found this on the side of the road. I picked it up, brought it home, charged it. Must have fell off somebody's car. Um, one of the one of the USB connections never worked. Uh, the other one worked for a while, but then what had happened was um, it stopped working, and you had to like finagle with the um, with the charger, you know, the cable. So what I figured was, I figured that there's a little solder solder back here that those were going to be bad. <clears throat> so what I did was, there's no screws or anything to take the thing apart, but it has, I don't know if you can see right there, it's like held together with uh, glue, and there's like clips on the side. So what I did was I started out from one end with a screwdriver, and I think I started from the top here, and I started prying, and I worked my way around, being careful not to break any wires. I figured, you know, the thing wasn't charging, so um, I'll just play with it for a little bit. So, I take the thing apart, figure the connections are, you know, from plugging it in and out and pulling it out and the connections broke. Resolder the connections, nothing. So, I take my little handy screwdriver set and start these little prongs right there. I, um, I stick them in, I figure maybe the connection's no good still. Obviously the connection's no good. Turns out, you can see those little, there's like little connections, right? Let me see if I can. Uh, hold on a sec. I want to point to the connections. Okay, here we go. There's connections, right? They're like little brass connections, right? And underneath here, there's like five of them on each side. I took the screwdriver. First, what I did was you don't want to cross uh, you don't want to cross any wires and burn the thing out. So I took the soldering iron, removed the positive. Then what I did was I took the screwdriver. Let's see, I only got one hand here. Stuck the screwdriver in there and pushed them back and forth and actually roughed up the terminals. I also stuck the screwdriver in there and tried to like bend them out just a little bit, maybe make a better connection, but I, um, I used a little tiny flathead right there and I scratched up the terminals. So, now, the thing works. The thing works. I mean, the other side still doesn't work, but I don't know what that's all about. This side works now. So instead, this is just a warning to everybody. If you're going to play with this thing, just be careful. Those batteries can go on fire, explode. I've seen, I've thrown them in the fire. They explode. So what you want to do, instead of taking the thing apart like I did, first try to get a little piece of sandpaper maybe or something and scratch up those terminals in there to see if you can get a better connection. It's built pretty well. Ninety nine percent. This thing holds a great charge. I can get like I can get like ten or fifteen, ten maybe ten charges. I've gotten about ten charges out of this on my cell phone. And uh, my wife uses it too. She steals it from me. But anyway, just a little video on the uh, Lime Fuel charger. Have a good day.